Switzerland is a landlocked country in Europe known for its enchanting mountains. The European Alps cover roughly 58% of the country and make for some incredible recreational opportunities. This past summer, my brother and I had the opportunity to visit the country for a couple of weeks, and in this video, I want to count down my top 10 favorite places we visited. This is going to be done right along the lines of my most recent video ranking my top 10 favorite spots in Iceland. Now, it's worth noting that the scenery of Switzerland, though beautiful, is not the most diverse. But I still tried to compile a list of places that showcase a bit of diversity and that have a number Number of unique things to see. Locations with just one beautiful landmark won't rank as high as a location with multiple highlights unless the one signature thing is just that good. But now that you understand my basis for ranking, allow me to introduce you to 10 of my favorite places I visited in Switzerland. At my number 10 spot is the St. Betis Cave. Located right along Tuner Sea, which is this absolutely gorgeous lake near Interlaken, is an equally beautiful cave system. The St. Betis Cave is about 8 miles long and features a well-built illuminated path through almost a mile of it. The entrance into the cave is absolutely absolutely stunning with waterfalls dropping down a series of switchbacks. The water comes from the interior of the cave which itself has a handful of small waterfalls as well. That was definitely one of my favorite features about the cave but it's also got some incredible stalagmite and stalactite formations. I enjoyed how each major room within the cave had its own unique characteristics that are talked about on signage in each one. Number 9, Glacier 3000. Sometimes the roller coaster enthusiast side of me allows for the discovery of some really neat places and Glacier 3000 is no exception. The main draw for me was the highest elevated alpine coaster in the world, which is approximately 9,596 feet above sea level. The name Glacier 3000 is actually a testament to the attraction's elevation as it's located roughly 3,000 meters above sea level. A unique experience they offer is the ability to walk on a glacier to your heart's content and cross a suspension bridge through the clouds. This was probably the most expensive thing we did in Switzerland at 85 Swiss franc or 90 US dollars, but it was an absolutely outstanding experience and I'm glad we got to check it out. Number 8, Oshinen Lake. This is perhaps the most well-known lake in Switzerland amongst tourists. You take a scenic gondola to the top where you can either go left or right. Left is where you'll find an alpine slide, which I really quite enjoyed, and right is where you'll go for the trail to Oshinen Lake itself. This is an absolutely stunning lake between its shade of blue, mountain surroundings, and the fact that it's got cows chilling by the water, which is the cherry on top. I didn't know why they were there or if they were friendly, but as it turns out, they love being pet by humans, and I found that to be pretty adorable. Number 7, Rhine Falls. The first place we visited in Switzerland holds up as one of the most memorable for sure. Rhine Falls is a waterfall right on the Rhine River and is located right by the border between Switzerland and Germany. It drops the Rhine River by 75 feet but has a width of 490 feet which really makes it for me. Along with that, it's widely considered to be the most powerful waterfall in Europe along with Dedifoss in Iceland depending on the metric you use. Me personally, I give that title to Dedifoss but it's really cool that I got to see the two most powerful European waterfalls in the same year last year. I'd highly recommend taking a boat tour out on the water to get some up close and personal advantages of Rhine Falls. Number 6, Shenya Platt. One of the most popular summer destinations in Switzerland is a very cool place to visit. Where you would normally take a ski lift or gondola to get to a place like this, you actually take one of Switzerland's highest mountain railways to reach Shenya Platt. At the top, you'll get truly mind-blowing views of the mountains on one side and two incredible lakes on the other. I'd highly recommend the short hike to Oberberghorn, which had my favorite view from up there. I also enjoyed the performance of the traditional Swiss Alphorn and the Alpine restaurant, which serves my favorite Swiss dish called Alpler Macaronen. Number 5, Treffbrücke. Also known as the Trift Bridge in English, this marvelous site requires a beautiful gondola ride and a tough four mile out and back hike to experience. The hike is pretty, but not the most eventful until you get to the end in my opinion. But all's worth it once you reach the bridge because your surroundings from that point are just unbelievable. You're right at the mouth of the Trift Glacier and Trift Sea Lake, which I could stare at all day. But the Trift Bridge really is the highlight for me because I think it's the scariest suspension bridge I've ever been on. At a height of 330 feet and width of 560 feet, it's one of the longest and highest suspension bridges in the Alps. Truly an exhilarating experience with one of the best payoffs you'll get on a hike in Switzerland. Number 4, Zermatt, specifically the Matterhorn Glacier Trail. Zermatt is a very famous town in Switzerland and for good reason. I loved the atmosphere and energy around there, but what really steals the show for me was its incredible selection of gondolas and ski lifts taking you to hiking trails around the Matterhorn. We attempted to complete the Matterhorn Glacier Trail, which is a 4 mile point to point hike, but unfortunately the weather wasn't cooperating and we weren't able to finish it. We decided to take in the views of the Matterhorn from both the ski lift stations and alpine restaurants in hopes that the clouds would clear enough to reveal the peak. 
While it did take several hours, we did get lucky and got the magic shot of the peak in between many layers of clouds. This area is honestly one of the most visually stunning places we visited in the country, and I hope with a return visit we can actually complete one of the longer hikes they offer. Number 3, Paisel. More specifically, the Five Lakes Trail. This was my favorite hike I had the chance to do while we were in Switzerland. It's characterized by its five stunning lakes, each with their own otherworldly color tone. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, we only got to see two of the five, but from what I've heard, the two we saw are by far the two best, and I can understand why because these would be ridiculously hard to top. The first is larger and surrounded by mountain peaks with a gorgeous light blue color, and the second is a smaller body of water which had a perfect turquoise color to it. In addition, the hike up to the lakes, while difficult, was very beautiful with mountain views looking into nearby Austria and Liechtenstein. If you are interested in completing this hike, it is a six mile point to point hike, and I just know that when I one day return to Switzerland, this will be number one on the hikes I want to do again. Number two, Alech Glacier. One of Switzerland's most visited UNESCO World Heritage Sites doubles as my favorite view of a glacier I have ever seen in my life. Alech Glacier is the largest glacier in the Alps, covering an area of 66 square miles. There's three signature vantage points you can get, but the one we experienced was at Moose Flu, which is accessible by a gondola ride and a ski lift ride. I feel like Alech Glacier's position on this list is self-explanatory. This is truly one of the most awe-inspiring overlooks I think I've ever seen, and it was a close second to what was my favorite place we visited in Switzerland. It's not what I think you'd expect, but number one is Trumelbach Valley. Located within the ever-so-famous Lauterbrunnen Valley is a spot that really blew my expectations out of the water. With its series of 10 waterfalls thundering through the inside of a mountain, these had to be some of the most powerful waterfalls I think I've ever seen. They are Europe's largest subterranean waterfalls and the only underground waterfalls that are accessible to the general public in Europe. The 10 waterfalls are fed by the meltwater from the massive Eiger, Monk, and Jungfrau glaciers, which are actually the same glaciers visible from Shinya Platte. The meltwater has carved its way through the inside of this mountain, and since it has nowhere to go but down, it dumps an insane 20,000 liters of water per second. You can actually feel the power of these waterfalls vibrate the mountain. The trail allowing visitors to view these falls is also brilliantly designed, and there's even an indoor funicular to help with those who might struggle to walk up a bunch of stairs. Lauterbrunnen itself was already pretty beautiful, but this brought it to a whole other level in my opinion. But with that, thank you all so much for watching this video. Switzerland is an absolutely beautiful country, and I hope these 10 places can be worked into a future itinerary for you guys watching this video. Leave a comment letting me know what other spots I should check out the next time I visit. Also, help our channel grow by leaving a like and subscribing to Travel Dash for more content in the future. Until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys!